Hello children, hope you all are doing good. Though we are not getting to meet each other, so let's start learning through videos. My name is Chitra Singh, your GK teacher. As per your GK syllabus, your first chapter is India in Color. So let's start. We all live in the country India, which is the seventh largest country by area and the second most populous country. The diversity in India is unique. Being a large country with large population, India presents endless varieties of physical features and the cultural patterns. It is the land of many languages. It is only in India people professes all the major religions of the world. In short, India is the epitome of the world. The vast population is composed of people having diverse creeds, customs and colors. Although people are turning modern today, hold on to the moral values and celebrates the festivals according to their customs. Also, people still throng gurudwaras, temples, churches and mosques. Also, there is a great Himalayan range up the north, the Deccan plateaus, lush green plains and much more. So, further, let's see the tribes in India, which form the important part of our population, especially from Nagaland, Assam and Andhra Pradesh. We all live in the... According to 2001 census, tribes population as in percentage of total population of Assam is 12.5%. They all coexist peacefully, each unique in its traditions, culture, dress and exotic lifestyle. Despite the wide use of Assamese language as the official language, each tribe speak their own. The population of Assam is a broad racial intermixture of Mongolian, Indo-Burman, Indo-Iranian and Aryan origin. The hilly tracts of Assam are mostly inhabited by the tribes of Mongolian origin. The Assamese culture is a rich and exotic tapestry of all these races and has evolved over a long. Native Assamese people are called Assomia, which is the same term used for their language. Some major tribes of Assam are Ao, Angami, Bodo, Raba, Debarma, Deori, Demasa, Tivas, Garo, etc. And when we talk about Nagaland, it is the 16th state of the Indian Union. It is bounded by Myanmar on the east, Arachal Pradesh on the north, Assam on the west and Manipur on the south. The state is mostly mountainous. The Naga people belong to the Indo-Mongoloid group of people living in contagious area of the northeastern hills of India. The major recognized tribes of Nagaland are Angami, Ao, Chakasang, Chang, Kuki, Form, Konyak, Sumi, Zaliang, etc. The language differs from tribe to tribe. It is basically a land of agriculture. Their main festival is Hornbill. They perform folk dances in groups in every festive occasions. According to the tribal people of Andhra Pradesh are very progressive in lives as compared to others in India. Andhra Pradesh tribes developed economically and technologically. There are nearly 20 varieties of tribes living in Andhra Pradesh. They are living at forest-based mountains of the East Godavari and Visakhapatnam districts. The tribes are speaking either Dravidian or Mundari dialects. Name of some tribes are Savara, Jatapu, Gadabu, Konda, Koya, Gon, Kolam, Lambada, Chanchu, etc. <coughs> Children, today you go gone through the colorful India. I hope you enjoy it. In homework, you have to write an essay on the topic India in color in 150 words in your rough notebook. Thank you. Bye-bye.